Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new episode and welcome my friends to something we haven't done in such a long time. Now it's actually currently 1am guys inside of London, which is why I'm speaking quiet because my family's asleep and I'm trying not to wake them up guys. But something we haven't done for a very long time on the channel is actually showcase to you some defenses and some of the base builds I've actually been using lately. Now I know most of you watching this video aren't actually Town Hall 11 guys, but we've actually got a very impressive base design and you can see it right in front of your very eyes. Now if we go here, inside of the defense log, you can see we have won so many defenses time after time and we haven't lost for such a long time. So we're going to go through some of these replays and see what this is all about. And we're going to see why Titans League players, and I think one of them is actually a Legend League player guys, have lost against this base. So let's see what this base is all about and why it defends so well. Do not forget guys, there is a link down below in the description box which is to enter the 1.3 million subscriber giveaway. All you need to do, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you want the chance to win $250. Let's go ahead and check out these defenses and let's start by checking out the most recent a 43% zero star and I also want to add guys not a single one of these defenses actually uses a defending clan castle so that's even more impressive we are winning defenses and have never used a defending clan castle now take a look at the top right hand side of the screen you can see Ali he's inside of the Titans 2 league and he is actually using a lava Loonian. so let's see what actually goes wrong inside of this attack and why he failed on the base so check it out Lava Loonian coming in straight away, he's actually dropped loads of balloons in, hasn't even taken out my Archer Queen, so it's not really a great attack. Sending in three Lava Hounds really late. I'm sorry, but this attack just looks so bad already. Now if you think this base is actually cool guys, stay tuned, we're going to see if we can bring some, uh, some new base builds to the channel. Now inside of the description box below the video, there is an email address. If you have any cool base builds, any hacks, any glitches, anything whatsoever, drop me an email guys and I will try to respond to as many people as I can. So check it out, he's actually pretty much lost the entire Lava Loonian already. They've taken out both Inferno Towers, so it was a very interesting attack, but now he's only got an Archer Queen, a couple of minions and a poison spell, and he needs to climb 14%. Uh, the Eagle Artillery is also down, so it's gonna be very close. Here we go, my Queen is still alive. Just takes out my maxed out level 45 Queen. Here's Archer Queen, gonna swing around the entire base and she's probably gonna get taken out by an Archer Tower or the Grand Warden. This is quite a funny attack guys, Ali, I'm sorry but if you're watching, this is really one of the worst attacks I've actually ever seen guys, so check this out, it's actually worse than me, and I suck, so check this out guys, Minion's gonna get taken out by the Grand Warden, Queen also gonna get snapped up by the Grand Warden, or the, uh, the cannon, I'm not sure which one that was. So it looks like this defense is pretty much over. We're going to go quad speed to finish off, guys, but it's going to end on 43%. He's got the archer at the bottom right there. I'm not sure why he actually carried on playing. For some reason, he thought the archer was going to pick him up another 20%. Sorry, another 7%. But of course, that just isn't going to happen. And uh, do me a favor, guys. Let me know down below in that comment section, what town hall level are you? And uh, whoever comes up with the coolest comment talking about their town hall level, I'm going to pin your comment down below. So whoever wants a pin comment, let me know what town hall level you are, and I'm going to pin a random person's comment. So 43%, that, my friends, is the first attack over. So we're going to go ahead and check out this second one. But before we do, let's actually spend this loot we got. So we got 7.7 .7 million gold, 5 million elixir, and we've also got 140k dark elixir, but we're saving up to send the Barbarian King to level 42. He's going to cost 188,000 Dark Elixir. So let's just upgrade some of these walls. We're actually going to start on that side now. We've gone all the way down to the bottom with a lava wall. So let's just start doing these ones here. 7.7 .7 million gold. So we're going to upgrade three walls in this episode. And that's going to take me to a total of, I think, 91 level 10 walls remaining. Let's just check. Remove everything in the base. There we go, 91 level 10 walls, and we've done it, all level 11 and level 12 walls, so that's cool. Don't forget guys, there is going to be an update coming out within the next couple of weeks inside of Clash of Clans. If you want to see what that is, subscribe to the channel for the earliest possible news, and of course, all the sneak peeks that are going to come into the game. So let's go ahead and check out one of these other defenses. Let's, um, let's check this one out. This dude actually uses mass miners, 33 miners bowlers and I think there's some extra miners inside of his clan castle here we go giants coming in level 8 giants so they're pretty strong pretty tanky 
Hasn't really made a great funnel. I think he's already in trouble. Let's see what he does, guys. Another really poor attack here. So here we go. Wallbreakers have just about got him through. There goes the Barbarian King's ability. Very high level heroes. In fact, they're higher than mine. Level 45 Queen and a level 43 Barbarian King. Hillspell goes down, trying to desperately keep these, uh, these giants alive, but it's not looking too great. The Archer Queen actually going to lock on to the Eagle Artillery, I think, very soon, guys. Let's see if she's going to take out the Eagle Artillery. Here we go. He still has the Archer Queen's ability. Still has three Rage Spells. There we go. Queen's ability has just been used. Eagle Artillery is going to go down. No problem whatsoever. There goes an Air Defense. Probably going to snap up the Air Sweeper and maybe one more building before she is taken out. And hey, presto, there goes the level 45 Queen. And here we go. The rest of the attack coming in now. So this is actually another really weird attack. He hasn't really made a funnel. He's just spamming in the miners from the right hand side using rage spells, a couple of heal spells, and a free spell, which I'm guessing is for the uh, the Inferno Tower. Let's see what actually happens. Here we go. He hasn't dropped down the free spell. This isn't really looking great once again. These attackers, and this dude's inside of the Titans 1 League. Oh, I like guys. There's actually a Pekka in my defending clan castle. That must have been what I used for war. That's where my Pekka went. My Pekka went on the defense. So that Pekka was actually meant for a war attack. Miners obviously killing the Pekka pretty quickly. 43%. Free spell goes down now. I'm not sure why. Wasted a rage spell as well. And uh, he's only got war breakers left. So these attacks are really strange. Definitely some of the worst attacks I've seen for a while. Very surprising considering this dude is actually a Titans 1 player. So let's go ahead and check out uh, another attack, guys, and see what this is all about. So that's our second defense one. Let's go down, and uh, here we go. Here's another, there's two, two to choose from here. We've got a 33, uh, sorry, a 34% and a 40%. Let's check out another air attack, guys. Another defense that we have won. Sick My Duck is inside of the Titans 2 League. Um, I'm not really sure if his name's appropriate, guys, but check it out. He's going to start off with a healer walk. This is actually the exact same attack strategy I use, except I use a clone spell instead of that many rage spells. So let's see what goes on here. Here we go, guys. Grand Ward. Oh, his queen's dead. His queen and my queen both took each other out, so that's possibly why this guy actually lost as well. So he's got the Grand Warden still alive under the rage. He's got the Barbarian King, which has been dropped down the bottom. Hasn't been a funnel, so he's just going to go walk about around the outside of the base. These are really some of the most unlucky attack strategies I have ever seen. It's quite funny. It's actually rather, rather unpredictable what these guys are actually going to do. So here we go. Lava Hound goes in way too early. Going to get ripped apart. And he's actually dropped a free spell on an air defense and an eagle artillery. I'm guessing at this point in the raid, he's actually panicking and doesn't have a clue what to do. So he's dropped in a couple of hay spells. He needs to use a rage spell. He's used it on the eagle artillery. I was kind of thinking to use it on the inferno tower instead. But that obviously didn't happen, guys. And he's actually lost all the balloons on the right-hand side. Only a couple remaining. Rage spell goes down a little bit too late. That Pekka is actually still alive. So that's quite funny. Here we go. Pekka's going to take out the Grand Warden. This is going to be funny, guys. Let's see what happens here. Maxed out Pekka. One shots the Grand Warden. Of course, he was already damaged. And we're going to swing back down towards the bottom. And my... I mean, this base is actually defending extremely well. But I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say it's all on the base. These are some of the worst attacks I've seen for a while. So you know what we're going to do, guys? We're not going to bother watching anymore because, to be honest with you, I'm guessing they're all roughly the same. So we're going to do something different. We're going to get ourselves into a live attack, and uh, we're going to see what I can do using a very similar army to the one you just saw attack me. So we're going to gem up the rest of the, uh, the King, Queen, Grand Warden. Troops and the spells are ready, locked, and loaded. Let's do this, guys. Inside of the multiplayer battlefield, we need a two-star... And we can actually pick up another star bonus. So that's going to grab me about four or 500,000 gold and elixir. So let's see if we can find anything with a decent amount of loot. We'll be back in a second, guys. Stay tuned. So here we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. And this was actually the second base I landed on. 660,000 gold. I think I will have a shot at this. Let's see what we can do inside of here. So looking for the Archer Queen. She's actually dead, which is good. Because that means I can now take on... The, uh, the base and see what kind of damage we can do to this. So there's two air defenses located here. And there, oh, where's the air sweeper? So we got one air sweeper on the left there, the other air sweeper on the uh, the right. I'm thinking to, I'm thinking to use the other uh, kill squad here, guys. So we're gonna see if we can, oh, wall breakers, where are you going? Wall breakers. Okay, so not a great start, guys. Completely messed that up, but it's cool. I can recover. Here we go. 
We're going to wait for the Barbarian King to actually break through that wall. I'm going to be using one of these Rage Spells, I believe, because I think I need to. Hopefully this, um, this Archer Queen doesn't get killed. Okay, now we're going to need to use the Barbarian King's ability, guys, because the Archer Queen, I don't want her to actually die really early. Here we go, let's see. Rage Spell is going to go down really early just to get these troops to do as much damage as I can actually do in the base. Trying to take out at least one of these air defenses, guys. Hopefully it goes down. The Queen could possibly snatch one. You know what? We might not actually take any of them out, guys. I'm hoping that the Queen's going to snatch one of these air defenses. Let's see what happens. So here we go. Going to use the Queen's ability. She's going to take out the Elixir Storage Swing onto the Archer Tower. Here we go. Air defense going to go down. Can she grab the Air Sweeper? Nope. Not going to happen. But we now have access to the core if we make a little funnel here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a funnel. Three balloons there. One on the mortar. And that's going to allow me to funnel the rest of the troops directly into the center. So let's do this, guys. Here we go. Attack strategy coming in hot. Let's see what damage we can do to this base. Going to use a Grand Warden's ability as ever really early to make sure as many of these balloons actually survive and make their way into the core. Two haste spells going to get used nice and early as well. There goes the clone spell and a rage spell directly into the center. Here we go. One final clone spell, sorry, haste spell remaining. There it goes. Haste spell has been dropped down. And we've got loads of loons, loads of minions. Town Hall is going to fall. Eagle Artillery is about to get taken out by a mass amount of balloons, guys. There it goes. And we've actually done a decent bit of damage to the base. Unfortunately, we've still got loads of gold standing. And it's actually all on the right-hand side. And we're not going to be grabbing that, guys. We're going to end with a 100% loot bonus, though. So that's great. Picked up six, 700,000 loot plus a 100% loot bonus. Meaning we're walking away. Oh, and a star bonus as well. So not bad at all, guys. And that's actually going to take my Dark Elixir to... Oh, and we've got our War Wind bonus. Wow. You've actually got... 150,000 Dark Elixir now, so that's great guys. Thumbs up if you've made it all the way to the end of the video guys. Leave a like on the episode and subscribe to the channel for more. I will see you very shortly in a couple of hours for tomorrow's two episodes guys. Stay tuned. Peace out.